Okay, so I've made the first of my only scheduled stops for today. Um, I've been driving for about an hour. You can see it's actually getting a bit light outside now. Um, I stop here every time I come up to Derby. Um, I absolutely love this place. It makes me feel like I'm, uh, I'm I'm definitely on my on my way on a road trip. Um, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, the receipt machine never works in, uh, I can never get a receipt out of the machine because it's always broken. Um, and the service is extremely slow, but other than that, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. And that place that I'm talking about is Sutton Scotney Services. Check it out, people. Uh, I'm going to go in and get my customary uh, double sausage name with muffin meal. Uh, nobody needs to join me for that, so uh, I will speak to you shortly. We love you, Oxford. We do. We love you, Oxford. We do. We love you, Oxford. We do. Oh, Oxford, we love you. Okay, so I've made it three and a half hours after I set off 183 miles down the road. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm just about to start my day. As Group FD, um, as an accountant dressed as a 1990s rapper, um, where I'm working, it is actually security passes. Um, I'm on an airport. Yeah, it's either industrial states or airports. Um, so I can't film or take pictures inside. So I'm not going to be able to show you what I'm actually up to for the next couple of days. But that's not the purpose of this video anyway. Um, but just to prove, you know, my luxurious settings, let's have a quick look around as you can see lovely you know industrial car park electricity danger of death um so that's about all i'm going to be able to show you uh, i might be able to get a couple of pictures later um but uh, uh it'll just be of the the kind of working space and then i will be off to the hotel um for my one night stopover So that's day one of work completed. It is now about 5.15. You can see it's starting to get a little bit dark. For some reason this camera actually makes things look quite bright, but it's not that um, it's not that wonderful out here. It is cold. Um, so I've just made my second stop for today. Another food stop. Didn't bother stopping for lunch because uh, while I'm up here, I just want to make sure I get everything done. There's no point rushing around just to stop and have some lunch. Um, so I'm at my second favourite pit stop, Moto Service Station in Donington. Um, if you've never been there, you should check it out. I've got a Burger King and a KFC, <coughs> Marks and Spencers, a Greggs. What else have we got? Oh, Costa Coffee, which is really useful because today I've had terrible coffee all day. There you go. So it's absolutely heaving in here which is wonderful because it means that I can get myself something to eat. I probably also treat myself to a few cans of beer from WH Smith, so I've got something to drink this evening while I'm watching the football and doing a bit of work. Into my room for the evening um, as you can see I'm staying in the Leonardo Express um, or Leonardo Hotels on East Midlands Airport um, you can see pretty decent sized room I actually like staying here because you get two beds obviously I don't use the second bed but I'm getting old now and it saves me from having to bend down to pick up a bag so there's absolutely loads of room desk already set up for my evening's work so what I tend to do is I come back and I have a shower and I get changed into a fresh set of clothes because um, it just breaks my day up a bit and just you know, tricks my brain into thinking that I'm not still on my work day. It's my bag. I didn't bother unpacking it. I'm only here for one night, so it seems like a complete waste of time. Um, I've got to a point now where that bag is packed constantly. So if I'm ever 
in the die I need to get out quickly. Um, it's probably what it looks like to the other half anyway, that I've got something ready to go. Good morning campers. It is 5.53. Um, it's early, it's still pitch black. In my room, I haven't even bothered turning on the light on. Uh, some of you will be wondering why are you up at this ungodly hour. And the reason is, is that if I was at home, I'd be up at this time. Because I get up to water dog. So regardless of when I'm away, my body clock just gets up at the same time. Anyway, so I like to take advantage of this. And I might even have another 15, 20 minute doze. But the likelihood is that I know breakfast starts from 6 o'clock. So if you're up early, you get the fresh buffet. And one of the best things about staying away, as far as I'm concerned, is getting a full English breakfast in the morning. So that's what I'll be off to do shortly. <laughs> Good morning. So it's day two. I've just checked out of the hotel. I will be shortly leaving and going to the uh, going to the office for the day. It's literally two minutes away. One of the main reasons I stay at this hotel. I've managed to get some work done this morning. So I've been completing work on the Pragmatist newsletter. First issue's going out tomorrow. So I've been able to get up, washed, dressed, nice breakfast. Um, get ready for work and I've managed to get about an hour, an hour and a quarter's work under my belt on the newsletter. Um, so that's taken a, a load off today. So at least when I get home this evening and I'm knackered, I won't have that to, to worry about and contend with as well. Or maybe just a few little tweaks and, tweaks and changes to make, but hopefully that'll all go okay tomorrow. <laughs> services again one of my favorite places um, I've just worked out I'd probably be really annoying to travel with because I've just walked around every single shop in here so M&S, WH, Scraggs, yep. Costas, KFC, Burger King, Full House, well, that's a gambling place that's definitely not for me, now, West Country, Cornwall Pasty Company and a Pret -a all purely to see who's got the cheapest coffee because I'm such a tight ass that I won't pay a penny more than absolutely necessary. I know for a lot of people traveling it's their um, expenses and company money so they're not fussed about that but um, I always like to bag a bar. I managed to get a large latte and a uh, Belgian bun for the same, well, actually less price than the latte would have cost it, cost us. So winning! So that's it. My time in Derby has come to uh, has come to a close. Um, I'm just about to head off home now. Uh, it says nine o'clock is going to be my ETA. So in hopefully about three hours twenty, three hours twenty five minutes, I'll be back in Bournemouth. Um, until then, I've got some calls lined up. Um, on the way up here, I didn't listen to anything on the radio. Didn't listen to any podcasts. Just had five minutes peace and quiet to myself. On the way back, rather than waste, you know, three and a half hours, I've got a bunch of calls lined up to family, friends, and uh, some work bits and pieces as well. Make use of the time, obviously keep me awake and alert while I'm driving back. Um, obviously, see that it's it's dark and it's raining outside, so it's not particularly wonderful weather. Um, but that's another work trip that's you know kind of come to a close. Uh, for the, any of those that have stayed with me through this period and listening to this last bit, and ultimately, you know, the the kind of resounding message I guess is that a work trip is just that it is work uh, it's not particularly fun um, you might spend a lot of time on your own um, you'd rather spend time sleeping in your own bed um, with family and friends in the evenings rather than spending time with people who feel obliged that they have to spend time with you um, and if like me you're you know you're kind of pretty constantly working there's not a lot of free time to do an awful lot else so um, just uh, bear that in mind when you're younger and you can burn the candle at both ends and you can go out and enjoy yourself in the evenings as well, then brilliant, go do that. Um, when you get a bit older like me and you want to wake up in the morning and actually be able to just go to work and do a decent day's work and then drive home and not feel terrible, 
um, then obviously you end up spending time sitting in service stations on your own. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Bye. Thank you.